Okay, so um, thanks everyone for joining me today. I'm really excited to um, share with you this very unique resource that most of y'all may not be aware of or you remember it back from like um, orientation when they were like sharing a bunch of information with you. So um, my name is Paris Whalen and I am the media literacy librarian here at UTK. And before COVID-19, I spent a lot of my time in a space known as the studio. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with this space, it's basically the creative media center of the library. So this is where students come to do their graphic design, their video projects, audio recordings and things like that, okay? The purpose of the studio is basically to help you creatively communicate your message using a combination of different media forms. So we're talking your audio and your video or your, um, your PowerPoint and your audio, stuff like that. So with that being said, I kind of want to take a look at the studio and what we have to offer, um, who our staff is and what our available spaces are going to be during this very odd time period, all right? So on to my next slide. This is our lovely studio staff. Um, first off, we have Michelle Brandon. She's the head of the studio. This is basically her brainchild. She knows everything that there is to know. Um, she helps us manage our software and uh, make purchases. Shelly is our uh, studio manager and she, uh, her purpose basically is to focus on the expertise for video and photography. That is her expertise. She's really good at it. So if you have any questions regarding that, she's the one you wanna hit up. We have Trey Hobson, who's our technologist. He helps manage our software on our uh, computers in our actual computer lab, and he helps update them. He also is really good with audio. So if you are creating a podcast or if you're recording a uh, song, he will be the person you probably want to talk to at some point. And then there's me, the media literacy librarian. And my focus is mostly on graphic design things because that's my background. So we're talking logos. Um, posters, um, anything along that lines is what I handle for you all. So uh, we all have more than enough experience to get you started on a project. And if we also have enough sense to know if we need to pass the buck to someone else. So feel free to reach out to any of us if you have any questions regarding your project. So now that you've kind of seen the faces of the studio, let's talk a little bit more about our physical space. All right. So we are located in Hodges library and the South Commons and the far, uh, the farthest desk on the right hand side is our um, public facing desk right now. And I say quote simply because obviously um, we are not doing in person um, consultations and things like that at this moment due to COVID-19. So what you see on this slide is basically what we do have available to you all. So the studio has a chat service, just like the library. So if you need to contact us to ask some questions about something simple, such as I need to customize my slide in PowerPoint and I don't know how, you can chat in and ask us and we will gladly set up an instruction or a consultation. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit, okay? Um, next, we have our video and graphic stations. That's these two sections right here. Our graphic stations are our single monitors. Um, they're usually set up with a scanner attached to it. So a negative, um, film scanner, like your 35 millimeter films or your uh, letter size scanners. Um, next, we have our video stations. And the only difference between our video stations and our graphic stations is that our video stations have dual monitors, meaning that there are two just to make your video editing process a little bit easier, okay? Um, these are attached to uh, two types of scanners. We have our uh, 11 by 17 or our 12 by 18 big scanners. And then on the back side right here, these towers that you can't really see, they actually have a uh, digitization equipment. So if I came in and I wanted to digitize my 1996 Christmas video where I'm wearing a uh, Christmas sweatsuit and black and white cowboy boots, this is where I would come because I want to keep that memory from ever, obviously. And then uh, finally, we do have our print room. And I bring this up because a lot of people ask about it. Our print room is staff only, but it's specifically for large format prints. So if you need to print a uh, poster or anything that's over 11 by 17, you're going to submit that to us and we're going to take care of it. And I'm going to show you where to do that as well. All right. Now, COVID-19 has changed a lot of things for us, obviously. So I wanted to show our spaces that we do have still, they still exist. And I'm sure some of you have heard of them or experienced them, but um, they're not able to be used right now because they are high touch environments, which is not safe per CDC guidelines, correct? So first of all, we have our 
desk. This is where usually a student or a staff member is sitting and we are available to help you and get you started and check in. All of this is now online, okay? Second, we have our audio room right here, not available, but we have uh, keyboards, microphones, and other software that's already installed in this room and ready to go, okay? This is where people do their podcasts and things like this. We have our video room up here, whoops, in the top corner. And this is where you would do any video production. We're talking your green screens. Uh, we have 4K cameras, your uh, photo shoots, your interviews. This is a really great space that we found to be really useful in the past. Um, Shelly uses it a lot to do some stuff for the library. So hopefully whenever we're able to open it back up, you all can experience it. Next, we have our VR room. Um, basically the VR room is why I'm telling you what is not available at this time because we have gotten a lot of questions about the existence of virtual reality, but uh, why they can't use it. And basically that um, we have the HTC Vive and it sits on your face and right now that's not okay. So we do have this available whenever uh, we are able to come back in and work together or play together really. Um, the virtual reality room is more of a it tends to lean towards leisure sides of things. So people play games like Beat Saber and things like that. However, it has been used in classrooms to uh, say use Google Earth and kind of um, discover things around there that you would notice or um, to look at museums and things like that. And then finally we have our whisper room right here. And this is where people just record audio. Now this has like cloth all over it. So therefore we're not using this room either but these places do exist. So. Um, what we have done is the studios adapt to this. And so we moved our online, our public service desk online, um, and we created a bunch of guides for easy access and practicing different ways to basically help our patrons who are trying to be successful media creators. So while these rooms are unavailable, we have compiled uh, alternative ways to recreate these spaces, which leads me to our next slide, which is basically our website. So if you'll drop that in the chat for me, um, Allison. I'm gonna end the show and I'm gonna to navigate to our website and just talk to through that really quickly. All right, so this is where the studio website lives. live.utk.edu forward slash studio. Right here on this right hand side, if you have any questions for us, this is where you would go chat with the studio and our online chat uh, hours are right down here, all right? So if you uh, try to contact us outside of those hours, more than likely you'll get a uh, overall library employee and they will send your request towards us, or you could just send us an email and get in contact with us. Next, I'd like to talk about uh, consultations. So uh, consultations, sorry, and instruction. Consultations are basically uh, one-on-ones or one-on groups with groups uh, where we kind of break down um, what the project is, what you want to do, and we assess where your skill set is and how to get you to point B. So if you're a beginner, uh, what kind of beginner software, what you are actually able to do, and what your final project could possibly look like. Now the instruction section is a little bit different simply because um, that's usually a professor who requests that. And in that case, we do like a general overview of the studio and our resources, but we also uh, give some very specific software for the project they're working on, but it's not based on say uh, individual skill sets. It's just kind of, you know, beginner, intermediate and advanced. We give you a bunch of options, all right? Um, Something else that's really important is our office hours. They're not often taken advantage of, but they're very, very useful. Um, during these times right here, a studio staff member is on standby on Zoom, and we're just waiting for someone to come in and chat with us about whatever they need help with. So if you need to, like I said, resize a PowerPoint slide, you can drop in during these hours, I mean, chat in, and they'll give you a Zoom link, and I can show you how to do that. We can do a Camtasia so you can remember. Uh, there's a lot of options for us, so don't let uh, us being virtual scare you. That seems to be a um, problem right now. People think that just because we're virtual, they can't get help from us. We absolutely can help you, all right? Over here on our left-hand side, we have more information about the studio. So we have like our workstations and equipment. Uh, here you can find information about what kind of uh, software we have as well as what equipment would be available if we were um, at home right now. 
this includes um, most of our stations, by the way, are preloaded pre with software. They're not all the same software, but there's generally a couple that are um, always on there. So we're talking like your Adobe Cloud Suite, um, iMovie, Audacity for audio, those types of things are on most of the computers, but we do have specific computers that have software like Rhino and Camtasia and Logic on it. So if you have questions about what kind of software we have, you're welcome to come here or you're welcome to just chat in and we will let you know, okay? Um, down here, we have our large format poster printing. So if you need to print a research paper, you can click on this link and it will take you through the steps to submit one to us. And we ask for just a 48 day lead time, okay? Um, once we have our instruction and consultation again, we have um, our Commons equipment desk, which I'll talk about in just a second, and then our recommended tools, okay? So earlier I was talking about how the studio has made some tools, tips, and tricks for y'all to, uh, go through even though we're not in person or to visit these sites and just um, see what we have available. And I'm gonna open this in a new tab and kind of show you what's going on. This is basically a LibGuide, which is an aggregation of information or researches, re, um, research on a particular subject. And ours is obviously all media related. Um, and you can go through by the media format and see what we have to offer you. So for example, Shelly did our video tab and she gives you some software that we have available at the studio, some basic guides that she makes for whenever she's out in the field. Um, she gives us some tutorials for the software. Um, there's some beginners, there's some uh, more intermediate and advanced like Adobe Premiere and so on. And she also gives some resources such as eBooks and journals if you wanna know more about a specific time period or something like that, okay? And that goes for each one of our uh, media types. So print and graphic design, audio, podcasting, and photography are the same thing. Um, because y'all are unable to check out some of our uh, more quality cameras and dig uh, digital cameras and just regular Nikons and things like that, um, we have made a nice tab here called the Smartphone, uh, Smartphone Media Production Guide. And this is gonna teach you how to use your basic cell phone. Um, Android or um, iPhone and make some really decent video. So take some time to go through this. Not everyone has like a super fancy camera at home. So might as well make use of what you have, okay? Shelly has put together some really awesome uh, resources, including ways to record sound without going out to buy some fancy microphone. You know, you can go back to your old pillow for it and things like that. And finally, underneath our lid guide, I have a content and resources page. This includes all of the, um, not all of them, but many places that you can get royalty-free images and video resources. So if you need to make a video, you don't have the ability to uh, film something or you're struggling, you can get a clip or you can get some music to put in over your clip from these links right here. So don't be afraid to use them. We can help you figure out how to incorporate them into your work, all right? Uh, the final thing I want to show you is the studio is right down, the studio desk is right down the, I don't want to say hallway, space from the equipment desk. And even though we're not loaning out equipment, the equipment desk is. And right here on the left-hand side, we have a link to their desk. And you can see exactly what they have available to you to check out, okay? And one of the things I mentioned earlier was, what's that? Here we go, tripods and iPads and things like this. This is where you can check them out and it just has a date where you need to return them, okay? Um, these are, they are high touch, but uh, these are easy things to wipe down versus say a camera. So just be aware of that. So now I'm gonna navigate back to my PowerPoint and we are going to talk about how even though you know the studio seems very amazing, it's very intimidating for the most part. Let's talk about how it kind of ties in with your experience as a first year student. So some of your coursework may require you to create a media project, okay? So these projects range from recording, you know, over a PowerPoint to doing a video resume that includes your logo and some other things that are part of your personal brand. Um, there's a general process that the studio follows and I think it will be very useful for y'all to know so that you know what to expect from us. And it's not just like some vague cool space that you feel intimidated by, okay? So 
first thing I do want to make clear is, yes, we are an educational space, but you are able to use our space to work on your own personal projects. So like I said earlier, if you want to digitize that VHS with your, you being in your Christmas sweats and your cowboy boots, we can help you do that, all right? So starting out with your project, there are two things that could possibly happen. Your instructor could assign it to you and set up an instruction session with us, or um, you could set up a consultation with us and just move forward. Or you can, um, you can have an instruction session with your professor and then you can come see us for a consultation because maybe you need some more in-depth information. Either way, um, this is generally the next step for most people. So after you kind of have an idea of some software to get started with and some of the steps in the process, even if you're a little, you know, confused, you can kind of start creating. So that means you take in your, um, your script, um, your different iterations of your logos and things like that, and you drop them into the software and you start playing with them. And this is when you can chat in with us or you can Zoom and we can help you uh, problem solve or we can help you um, learn some tools that will be useful in this particular subject. And then the final thing we do once you feel good about your project is help you preserve it. So that means we um, help you save it so that it's editable, editable in the future and it's something that can be exported and uploaded easily to either Canva or wherever you need to share it to, okay? So we have the tools, we have the experience, and if we're unsure, we will definitely find the answer for you all, all right? So if y'all just take a moment for me, I know that was a lot of information about the, what the studio has to offer, but uh, what kind of projects have you been assigned in the recent or in the past that the studio could help you with? I think this is kind of a good way for us to learn together and see if we're meeting your needs or if you need more information about what we do. So if you guys will go to the um, Padlet link that Allison has dropped and just fill out some things that you think the studio could help you with, I would greatly appreciate that. And I'm just gonna pull it up on my screen. Yes, learning to edit videos. Yes, we have tons of uh, software for editing video between iMovie, Premiere, um, Final Cut. Um, we can teach you all the vocabulary that you need to get there, okay? Uh, green screens is a really, really fun one. I'm gonna show you an example of that in just a little bit. Um, Captivate's a fun one, we use that a lot. Um, let's see, uh, we also use Camtasia. Oh, you use a whisper room for a podcast assignment. Yeah, sweet. Recording an audition video. Yep. An e-portfolio, yes. Many of us have done e-portfolios, so we can help you with that. Um, the poster printing service is a really big one, especially um, right around Eureka and stuff like that, and then using Camtasia. So great, so it seems like you all understand what we can help you with. Do y'all have any questions? Sorry, I cannot see the chat. There we go. Okay, nope. I don't see any questions in chat. Oh, here we go. Does the studio have Photoshop? Yes, we do have Photoshop. We have the entire Adobe suite and we know how to use it. So watch out world. <laughs> I'm just gonna give a couple seconds for some more questions if y'all have them. All right, so Y'all know what we do. Y'all seem to have an understanding. Uh, last night, it was really late, but I decided to put together something really quick. I gave myself 10 minutes to kind of showcase some things that the studio has worked on um, and we've all learned together on. So I put this lovely video together for y'all and I hope that you enjoy it. And let me know if you can't hear it, okay? Complete control of my staff. Why did I let George go to that party? 
I mean, we were having so much fun. I mean, we were whining, we were dining, we were dancing. <laughs> what? This mini thing. It's dancing. No, no, that ain't dancing, Sally. I dance fine. You stink. green button right here. Thanks for the suggestions and expertise, Shelly. Now it's your turn to try something new. Remember to be thorough and present decent work because either Shantae you stay or sashay away. This is Trey Hobson signing off at WVLT 8, where your project decides your fate. <laughs> So I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, my favorite is Shelly doing the uh, music for the newscast. Every time I watch it, it makes me uh, chuckle. But basically, this is what the studio has to offer and many, many more things. This is us learning together. And just like y'all, we don't know everything, but we are here to help you and help you get you where you need to be. All right. So that basically concludes what I'm going to talk about today. Thank you all for taking the time out to hang with me and let me share this with you. If you have any questions, you can feel free to email me at pwaylin at utk.edu, or you can ask me some questions right now if you like.